Hello everybody, today's project we are going to figure out what's wrong with my mower. Um, starts up fine, but when I hit the forward and reverse pedals, nothing happens. So I'm going to start it up real quick and kind of show you and then I'll turn it off and be kind of noisy. <laughs> So I did go through some of the steps, uh, power, uh, the parking brake's not on, um, it's not a neutral or anything, everything seems to be set. So I put the uh, lawn deck all the way down and I'm going to put some cardboard down, lay down, see if we can see anything under, underneath. Alright, so I put the deck all the way down, still couldn't see very well under here, so I grabbed my jack and just kind of jacked the front up so I could see a little bit better on the underside here. So have our pedal here, forward and reverse. And when I pull it, you can see it in the back there. You can see that moves. Push it, keeps pulling it. So it seems like everything's moving okay. So I was thinking maybe there's a broken link somewhere in here. But that stuff seems to be okay. Because when you press it, it does move. So. Next step is to kind of look in that back area, see if there's like a fluid uh, fluid issue or something going on. All right, in order to get a better look as to what's happening uh, down on my transmission box, I'm gonna take the battery out. Take the battery out, it's uh, 7 16 inch wrench. Take this bolt out, that bolt out, and then we can pick the battery up and then we'll take uh, this cover out. So. I'm going to take the uh, things off, let the battery out, then we'll show you how to take that off. All right, so with the battery out to uh, take this insert out, uh, so I got to drop screw it in there, or bolt nut. Uh, it's just held in by these two tabs. And so you just pull the tab, kind of lift up, do the same thing on this other side, and it'll lift right out. Uh, there is this wire that's conveniently in the way. And so I'm just going to take it out, kind of rotate it. Off to the side so I can see down there. I really don't want to have to take it off. I will if I, if I don't have a choice, but hopefully I can get it. Um, if I do need to take it off, it's just a clip right here. So I just clip that, that'll come off. Then you have to unhook it there and there and you can get to it. But hopefully I'll be able to see what, what I need to see without taking that off. Yeah, that's not bad. So there's our, our guts of the, uh, of the machine. Looks like we do have some grass and stuff in here we can take out okay so this wire or this can't really this one this is the neutral I like to pull it out of gear you can see here when it's pushed in it's uh, engaged if you pull it out it's in neutral but then once you press the pedal it'll clip back and so or usually anyway and so our pedal is this guy here so when you pull it it goes forward and when you want to go reverse you press it and it pushes it backwards so i'm really trying to see if there's any type of spot i can check the fluid levels if there is maybe that's our issue altogether all right so we're looking in this compartment and we can see like it doesn't feel like there's good tension on here and there's a smell of a uh, of something like burning all right so i was kind of playing with it and looking around following this belt back and i'll see if we can see it i'm going to take this the deck off but you can see Get it back there's a pulley right here where my hand is and the belt is off that pulley uh, so i think i'm going to take this deck off to get in there and to to see what it is so the deck is fairly easy to come off there's three points that hold it on one is right here at the front and then the other one's right here um there's actually four i'm sorry there's six points or one two three four five five points so this one, this one, and this one back here. So this one and this one will be on each side. So we'll go ahead and take that off. You can see kind of how it comes off. 
that pin comes off, this comes off, then that'll push out, or this bar pulls in. Um, and so you just gotta take those off, try not to lose them, and then we'll slide this out, and then we'll... All right, so I got the deck off. Um, actually, probably not the best idea, but uh, I just picked it up and pushed it forward and set the back tires on top of the deck so I can get the height that I need. Um, so I can show you what's going on here. <sighs> That I'm underneath. Let me zoom out. All right, so it's it's this pulley right here. Where my hand is this uh, the belt slipped up up on top of it. So I need to get the belt down so that it's on the pulley and not above. That was that burning smell I said I was that was kind of smelling. It's because this belt isn't on there. So I'm gonna grab some screwdrivers and see if I can pop that thing up. Um, I'll try to film it uh, once I get kind of set. All right, so I don't have it on there yet, but I did figure out with the uh, the brake on the side here, if I pull this, like kind of closing the brake, which you could probably put a clamp on it, it loosens that belt. So I'm gonna put a clamp on that so that it's all the way down. It'll make it nice and loose, and then I should just be able to pop that in with my hands. Um, or I might even you know, I'm gonna get one of my kids out here to kind of push that in, and then I'll be able to plop it on and tell them to take it off, and hopefully it'll be right in the place. All right, so I have my son pushing the pedal, and as you can see now, that is super loose. So, just using my hands here. Open that. Give it a turn. Hopefully you can still see that. Yeah. Almost, almost got it. And there we go to release. There we go. So that is all Look back up, so I am going to uh, move this tractor off of this thing and give it a test run before I put the uh, deck back on. All right, so I moved it off of the, the mower deck. We're going to give it a test run, but i got to put the battery back in first. So we're going to put this part in and just feed your lines back through the spots that we took them out of. So that one and that one. On that red wire, you can see it down there kind of gets caught. So just make sure you push it off to the side. And then this shred goes straight, straight back down. And press into place. Then we'll slide that battery into place and reconnect our, uh, our wire. All right, battery slid back in. And so to reconnect it, just slide your bolt through. Um, I always do the positive first, that way it doesn't hit anything. And you can spin that on, <coughs> tighten it up, <coughs> sorry about the cough, still got stuff falling over there, so you see the same thing then on the negative side, slide your bolt through, and <coughs> tighten the nut on. pop these out so pop that one back on so it goes back in there seats in so let's give it a whirl yeah go ahead so otis is uh gonna help me out here so i'm back into a car all right so he's gonna press that brake I think we're back up and running, so that belt was the issue. Uh, so I'm just gonna throw the mower deck back on and then I'm gonna get him uh, to mow the rest of my yard here. Uh, so that is uh, some troubleshooting and fixing a lawnmower 
that wasn't running when you were pressing the pedal. Um, there's also a weird smell with it. Uh, it's because that pulley got bumped up. I think uh, we had some sticks first mow of the year. One popped up, probably knocked that uh, that belt off. So good to go now. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please put those in the comments below. Hit like and subscribe and all that. And we will talk to you soon.